If you're a bot like me, use code I'm a bot in the Fortnite item shop. What's up YouTube? It's your boy use code I'm a bot. Back at you guys with another video. And it's gonna be a really special one, guys. I'm gonna be telling all my best secrets to reduce input lag when you play with a controller on PC. And I'm putting it all together in one video for you guys. So please show your support by dropping a like and subscribe. Also, all the download links will be down there in the description. This is not only gonna make the connection on your controller better, it will make your triggers and every button on your controller more responsive. And we will be taking all the unnecessary dead zones out of your controller. So let's talk about what this means. Your ADS will be faster and firing responsiveness, which will help you aiming and being more accurate with your shots. If any of you are familiar with FPS games, when your gun has the faster aim down sight time, you have a huge advantage because even if you are both equally skilled or if he's better than you, if you both go to ADS at the same time, you will technically have more time to aim and hit your shots. Also, when you get ready to select or confirm an edit, it will happen faster. When you go to build or steal walls, your builds will place faster. This is why we look up all these FPS boost videos and reduce ping videos, etc. Because these small differences matter, guys. Some of the, this is going to be for PS4 controllers only because it has the lowest input lag by far of any controller that's out on the market right now. And with this new DS4 Windows and the tricks I'm gonna show you guys, it's gonna be even better. But some of the tips I show will also include things that work for pretty much any controller. It's crazy because a lot of gamers that play on PC with a controller don't even know about any of this, even pro players. Most of them are playing with about five milliseconds of lag on their controller and don't even know it. What's the point of playing on a one millisecond response time monitor if you're not even taking full advantage of it? So that's what I'm gonna be helping with you guys with today because I've managed to get my input lag on my controller down to only 0.6 to 0.85 milliseconds and remove all unnecessary dead zones on every button on my controller. And it's crazy because it even makes my paddles feel more responsive on my Sony back, bu back button attachment I use on my controller. So, but enough talking guys, let's get right into the methods. Uh, make sure you drop a like and uh, subscribe if you're new so you don't mess out on any content I drop in the future. All right guys, so once you got it downloaded, what you wanna do is come in here and make you a new profile. Um, I see mine's not showing it, but I'm just gonna go through and make a new one with you guys so you can follow along. Um, name it anything right here. I'm just gonna name it Fortnite one cause I already have one, but you can name it Fortnite or whatever you wanna name it. Fortnite one and then what you want to do is come in here and click this button right here uses controls this is going to allow you to use your touchpad as controls instead of a mouse when you use it as a mouse it's like really buggy and just messes you up a lot so <clears throat> I like to use also going here and this is how you change your, there's actually a lot of buttons you can change on your left on your touchpad uh, you see the different options right here. Uh, there's so many different options to basically mess with. So what I like to do is go here to the left touch, which is going to be on the left side right here. And I changed that. For me, I changed that to, I'm pretty sure I use that as left button. And right touch I use as back to open up my map. So that way I can ping with this side and I can open up my map with this side. And it's actually, that is really low key a game changer in itself, man. I mean, yeah, so that's the best way I like to use it. And uh, if you really wanted to, I guess you could put something right here too on upper touch. And that's even, that's pretty dope too. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty dope. This, I think that's pretty much it for this section of it. Uh, we're gonna come back to this. Uh, first, what you wanna do is come here to other click on Bluetooth pole rate and change this to max one millisecond guys this is going to change your connection and make it just a lot better uh, also when you do this make sure you you know stop it and start it again 
uh, or it's just not going to register that. And always, always, guys, but when you're done making to your profile, making your changes to your profile, always click save. Um, a lot, a lot of times, I'll do something and forget to save it, and it won't go. Um, so once you've done that, you see my mother's my lag is super low man it's just it's ridiculous it's mainly you know it's in between you know underneath one millisecond and uh, that's what you really want when you got these one millisecond monitors 200 hertz monitors you know all these beefed up monitors and stuff and these pcs if you plan on controller this is what you want on your controller uh, not all controllers are like this y'all uh, ps4 is really fast xbox i'm sorry ps4 wins this one input lag is better on ps4 uh no, without a shadow of a doubt um as far as from my testing and, and from what i've heard and what everybody the community and everybody going around saying but this is the lowest input lag man but anyway besides that point i know people uh like different co controllers for other reasons and input lag is the only thing but this important but to me it's really important so now we're going to go over to dead zone and what i like to rock on mine you actually have to type this in right here uh, i like to set mine to a 0 0.07 on the talked about that in one of my videos but and then on this one i like to go with a 10 on my right stick because with linear i use the 10 dead zone on my right stick Max zone you can keep at one. Anti dead zone. <clears throat> what you want to do is turn these down, and then to 0.10, and you're gonna want to turn your dead zones in the game you're playing to 1010 for most of the time, as far as I know, guys. Um, and I'm pretty good at telling. I don't know. You tell me, guys. But this is what I do, and it works really good. So I turn it on anti dead zone, and what that does is basically when you turn your dead zones to 10 10 in the game you're playing this anti dead zone is going to cancel that out that way you can modify your dead zones in here you can change your dead zones in here not in the game you're playing so whenever you if you guys end up wanting to make a change in the future to your dead zones come do it in here don't do it in the game you're playing or else it'll mess everything up and uh if you haven't stick drift or anything like that you know you turn these up to until you stop having stick drift or whatever values this is just what i use guys but uh, you can copy my settings if you want to um, on this you're not going to mess with the sensitivity because you want your sticks to be how they normally feel everything else is pretty much good these settings are cool and everything i tried this i don't know if i liked it or not i might have to make a video or something like i said but <clears throat> i might go up over a video using this and some of these other ones it's kind of crazy but uh there's actually other options too i'm not sure what this square stick does or this i know curve input can help i guess might be actually a nice thing to use a little bit of this and uh but anyway dead zone turn these all the way down to zero max zone keep at one anti dead zone you want to turn this all the way up guys and what this is going to do is take out the dead zone out of your triggers. Uh, so it's, you know, you won't have any dead zones in your triggers. Uh, max output, keep at 1. Sensitivity, turn these all the way up to 10 on both sides. Or you can just hold this down. I don't know why I'm clicking like that. Like I'm crazy. But really, you probably could just type in uh, 10, but I'm being weird i don't know why but yeah you guys can follow along let me know what you guys think about this man it's it's really a game changer and uh i think definitely more pro players probably would should uh, y'all should i'm your daddy you know what i'm saying y'all should be <laughs> y'all should be paying me yeah you know what i mean for these tricks but y'all let me know man it's really it's really helpful uh let's see turn this up I don't know if I know Astro C40 has a software like this where you can change the sensitivity, uh, but their controller on their website tells you that their controller has like five milliseconds of input delay. So this is a lot better as far as input delay, even with that trick being like that. Even though you can do some stuff with the triggers to make it better, it's not going to be as low as this. 
same thing with xbox i'm pretty sure but i don't know with the anti-micro y'all let me know man and i don't really know how overclocking works on xbox controllers so that might help y'all too so but besides that point right there that's pretty much it for this guys i think that's pretty much it guys you have your touch pad set up everything set up controller readings good you know everything's good light bar you can change this if you want to i usually go in the actual profile and change this to uh yeah there's a lot of different uh settings you can change in here man but make sure you click save and what i like to do is change this to use custom color Turn this all the way down to black make it blacked out that way um, your your light bar won't be showing nothing and you won't be wasting battery it makes my battery last really long guys so I definitely recommend that but other than that guys you got that set up and that's pretty much it for DS, DS4 Windows so we're gonna get on to the next trick all right all right, so next thing you want to do, guys, is download Anti-Micro. Anti <clears throat> I guess that's what it's called by this guy right here. Uh, we'll go ahead and download it. Boom, okay. After it downloads, go ahead and open it up. So for these, what you want to do is basically figure out which one of these your controller is using which mine's using this because you can see when i push a button it's flashing uh, it's showing up right here you see it red right here and it's you'll see the buttons you press basically on here uh, so what you want to do is go in here um, for all these buttons right here you could probably do it on this too I'm not sure but what you want to do is for all these going here for this I turn this all the way up dead zone I turn this all the way down and I think I use this one right here negative half throttle and that those results you see this red bar right here is pretty much instantaneously going to the max uh, you know just making my buttons really fast so definitely do this right here after you're done that close it let's see if that works I don't know if that goes to the other one no actually it didn't work so you go right here you can actually make a preset but I'm not gonna do that as you can see guys Um, go ahead and close this. I don't know whether or not I'm supposed to be pressing yes to that, to be honest, but it works for me. So, uh, also going here to turbo, turn this all the way down. Make sure that's enabled. Two seconds. That's what you, you want to see. And close it again. And so you just want to copy that on every single button. I know it's a long process, but. Trust me, it's worth it, guys. Yeah. 
So yeah, once you've got that done, guys, and you just go through, check all of them, make sure you've done it all on all of them. And yeah, you can go in here and make a new profile and save it if you want to. Um, and name it whatever you want. I'm pretty sure you can just type in right here, can't you? How do you rename this? I guess you gotta save right here. So save it. Call name, I'm just gonna put low input lag. All right, save it, boom. So now that's saved, and anytime you make changes to this or whatever, if you ever mess around with any of this, you just click save right here and you're good. And it's pretty, it's pretty nice, man. This is what I use. You can also, it's optional, but if you want to, you can come in here and, uh, where's it at? This might actually be worth checking out. I don't know what this is. Uh oh, you can turn this down too. See guys, you can do a lot of things, man. I think I might start messing with this. Uh, I didn't even realize this is something I just found out in the settings, so. But yeah, what's optional is you can use this launch at Windows Startup and uh, it'll open when you first start up. So same thing with DS4 Windows, you can do the same thing in that, guys. So, oh, that's my controller disconnected, but saving me battery. <laughs> but yeah, <clears throat> that's pretty much it, guys. I don't know about this. I might mess around with this key repeat. I don't know if this will help me at all, but shoot I'm gonna turn that down anyway just in case I don't know if this is better left or right but I'm just gonna guess it's better like that no like this let's do that okay and I think that's it so yeah just once that's done you'll see this little icon down here in the bottom right Oh, what the hell? What happened? Let me launch it back. Alright. So, yeah, once that's done. Oh, my controller ain't connected. That's why. Boom. We good. Just minimize it. Same thing with this. Minimize it. Everything's good. Uh, once you got your profile and set up on here and this you're pretty much good man so i'm gonna get into some gameplay for you guys and y'all let me know if you notice a difference this is really a game changer for me especially with like a fps boost video or like a reduced ping video or something like that it definitely helps uh, i might be coming out with a ping video soon so let me know if you want me to do that down in the comments guys and uh yeah enjoy the faster response time on your controller and a good connection man it's so awesome i love playing on it man it's it's really good and uh, i can definitely tell the difference so <clears throat> let me know what you guys think down in the comments all right peace out